Glory to Jesus. Glory to the Most High God. I'm in a new place. I'm in my secret place right now. I'm under some trees. Y'all know I'm in devotions, but hallelujah. I don't know why I just did that. The Lord wanted me to come and, and, and I was just in prayer and I was telling God, I said, God, I want the next move that you do in my life to be so big that I have to share this testimony with others to encourage others and trying to get the phone to the glare to get out. But I said, God, I need this next move that you do in my life to be so big that it will have to encourage others. And the Holy Spirit said, tell what I already done in your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Y'all, let me tell you something. I don't know what people look at when they look in my life and see. I had one guy I had met and, uh, a couple years ago, and I ended up taking him to my house after I met him or maybe a few days or maybe a week or so after. And when he got to my house, his, his mind was blown. Like, he was like, this where you stay at? I was like, yeah, bro, this where I stay at. He was like, man, I expected you to be in a big house, bro. <laughs> I kind of was hit at the heart like, dang. <laughs> he was like, nah, don't get me wrong, your house nice. He said, but I expected you to be in something big. He said, bro, I thought you was rich just from looking at your life and stuff on, on, on social media. And I was like, wow. I was like, well, Jesus make it look like that, bro. It's none of me and all of him. Let me tell you testimony report about the favor of God, how God just blessed me these last few days. And I say this because I want to let y'all know, hallelujah, Jesus is amazing at all his at all his ways and at everything that he do. I was praying for favor for God with my with this new film that we got coming out, The Lost Son. I was praying for favor uh, with God with a couple other things, with, with, the, with some t-shirts for the film. I was praying for God for favor with more jobs because my kids going back to school, my film getting ready to come out, me paying bills. You know, uh, monthly bills and stuff, all that adds up. And my fine, my funds, excuse me, my finances was not looking how it usually looks. So I was believing God, like God, if I'm gonna continue to do this for you, bless the ministry, bless people, you know, bless my wife and my children. Continue to sow in my, my 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 music ministry, my media ministry, God. If I'm gonna continue to do this, I need you to move in a mighty way. And I think I told God I needed Him to move within within 48 hours. I needed like $500 in 48 hours. God is so amazing. So the Lord gave me so much a favor, man. He told me we couldn't find nobody to. We was like 500, almost $500 short of, of equipment that we needed for the movie set. And God was placing it on my heart. And I said, I'll pay for it myself. But I can't really do that right now. And the Lord said, just, you know, just have faith. Believe, just hang tight. And so we was reaching out to people, man, and trying to get people to sow. We even asked, I think, 30 people to sow $100. We barely got three. Glory be to God, but I thank God for those three. I thank God we got three. I thank God for those three. And so it was It was still, we was like, man, we're not going to be able to pull this off and do it. So I was going to people and asking, hey, can you sow into this? Showing them the vision, you know, uh, reading the vision, trying to get them to see the vision. It was like, now nah, we, ain't, we ain't doing that. It's almost like how the, in, in, in the parable in the Bible, how the king told his servant to go out and get the people and everybody had the excuse nah nah we, we can't do this now nah, i don't have the money now nah. and so i said okay so god put this one man on my heart and we know him now to be brother Darrell hambrick that night and i told god i said god look he, he I, this is the last one i'm going to if not i just you know you're gonna have to give it to me and i pay for it myself and i went to that man and i and i told that man this vision man and the vision god gave me for this movie and that man before i, I ain't even had to finish it. he said what you need he said what you need Tell me what you need, I'm on board. And I told him, I said, I need this amount of money for this, and this is what we're doing, and this is what I have left. That man paid for that on spot while I was standing right there. Didn't let me leave. Took his credit card out and paid for everything on spot. Glory be to God. Look at the Holy Ghost. Right after that blessing, we was trying to get some t-shirts, but well, we did get some t-shirts, and the t-shirts were so expensive, and I only get them for one person. I know it, my brother Price. And I've been working with him for so long. And the Lord said, don't stress. He said, go ahead on and ask him for favor. Ask favor for favor. <laughs> That's my brother. That's his name, Favor. Um, he, he do music. You know, he's he, he from New Orleans, but he's staying in Texas. Favor music. You can check him out on Instagram or whatever. Uh, I forgot the name of their business, their t-shirt business, because they changed it. But the Lord told me, just reach out, bro. And I told my brother what I was doing, told him about the film and whatnot. My brother charged me $68 for 20 t-shirts. $68 for 20 t-shirts. Printing and shipping, that's all he charged me. God gave me favor with that glory. Man, the Holy Spirit is so amazing. And then this past two weeks, not even 48 hours, the same day I stayed at the prayer, I got a call from my sister, Constant Geeson, and her, her husband, brother Mike. 
to come do their yard, their home. Man, the yard was, it's a big, it's a, it's a nice big yard. And it was worth what they gave me, but I couldn't believe they gave me what they gave me. They blew my mind. They, they gave me exactly what I prayed for. Plus, they gave me a tip on top of that. Don't tell me God ain't able. Man, all you got to do is be obedient, stay faithful with the Holy Spirit, man. Stay grounded and rooted in Christ. Don't look at what's going on, what's happening around you, what situations is happening around you. Trust God and trust that he is in your life and he's moving in your life. In Jesus' name, I promise you, this is just the beginning of many testimonies from my life. Y'all going to be hearing many more in Jesus' name. I love y'all. I just want to share that. Amen.